Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Just Bacon, and today we're going to be playing some Firewatch. Now, I have played this game in the past, uh, a long time ago, probably two or three years ago. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but I do remember that I really, really liked it. Uh, it's a small indie game, and there's not a whole lot of action, but it's a, it's a good, good story. And I'm excited to get back into it. So, let's go on ahead and jump in. I almost don't want to start the game. It's such a good, uh... Oh, and... It has crashed. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Take two! Let's get started. Let's see, when did I play this? Boulder, Colorado, 1975. I want to say I played this... Like... I don't know. You see Julia. I mean, I don't see anybody. Not yet. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Let's broach, Julia. You are drunk. So what's your major... You're pretty. Let's go with you're pretty. It seems like the drunker response. Feeling pretty drunk. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Things are moving... quickly. Not that I'm complaining. You never complain about a cheeseburger. Elevator. Okay. Assuming that's my bag. Go around. Nothing in here. Um... Well... Let's pick up our bag. Can we escape? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh. Is this where a mugger kills my parents and I become Batman? No, I don't think so. I don't see any muggers. Load gear. Well, hopefully this is my truck. Because I'm putting my backpack in it. And presumably driving it away. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. Very nice. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Life is good. Like in general. Maybe not in 2020. Julia wants to get a dog. I mean, I wouldn't mind a dog. Dogs are great. Let us get dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Uh, pick the beagle named Bucket, or pick the German Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Oh, Mayhem is a pretty badass name. Does it really matter? Dog is dog. German Shepherd's badass. Beagle is cute. But dog is dog. Dog is dog. Let's get her the beagle. Let's let's get Bucket. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. And you love him too. Aw. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? Eh. That'd be pretty good. She wants kids. 
Let's do kids. What do you think? What do you think, Julia? Tomorrow? Kids? Let's get some kids tomorrow. That's how that works, right? <laughs> In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. She is right. These kids are going to be screwed up. Also, if you're watching and thinking, like, what the hell is so special about this game? I promise it does open up at some point. It, it, there's, like, you know, a park to explore and a story to go through. It's not just, like, make, you know, your tragic history in text the game. I promise. Oh, look at this. I love this art style. Oh, my backpack is gone. Hopefully I'm wearing it, I guess. Let's see, what is that? Oh, it's a hat. Let's pick up the hat. Put on, is this my hat? I feel like this isn't my hat. I can't just, like, put it in my inventory or something. Yep. That's a... It's an interesting hat. Not really my style, though. Yeah, screw it. Let's put on the hat. Why not? And that's the story of how Henry, our hero, got head lice. And then died in the forest. Tragic story, really. Do not forget to check in, no fireworks, you are in their country. Learn to live with bears, yo, I'm gonna be Henry the Bear Man. Nineteen eighty one, Julia still likes to draw, I didn't know she drew, but okay, apparently she still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. I mean, really. Henry is definitely a Victoria's Secret model name. So, I'm thinking we gotta go with the Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right. You are very pretty. God damn right, Julia. Oh, oh my god. Do I still have ankles? I don't know, man. Pretty sure those ankles are gone. Oh my god. Like, look at this. This game looks amazing. I mean, come on. Look at this. Imagine if there was ray tracing. Oh. Alright. Ah! Praise the sun! 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. B ba b fuck d dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him. You beat his goddamn face in. Let's beat his goddamn face in. That is the only choice. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. 
from then on you walk by the river oh you walk by the river like okay so like a literal path I thought you meant like I don't want you to walk this dark path Henry 1984 plans to have kids get waylaid by work oh boy things are going south like more than they were when my dog got kicked Julie gets offered a job in Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. It, yeah, sure is. 2,000 miles, 2, miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. <gasps> she's going to be a chair? Yo, she's moving up. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job? Agree if she commutes back and forth. I mean, Connecticut's not a great place. It's kind of miserable. I mean, let's let's be real, so let's convince her not to take the job. Let's be greedy. I'm in charge. I am Henry the Bear Man. Oh, I'm not a bear man yet. Still. I know being a chair is a great opportunity, especially at Yale, but let's convince her not to take the job. You tell her that means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She is totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. Again, that's bullshit. But she decides not to take it. I mean, that sucks. You don't get to be, ch be a chair. Sorry, Julia. <laughs> 1985. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important for her research. She didn't remember that she happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She's been asked to leave the town? Like all of Boulder? Jesus. I mean, they probably just mean the campus, but let's pretend she got ran out of town. It's funnier that way. <laughs> she was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine to forget about it. I mean... That sounds nice. Let's just try and forget about it. It works. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. See? Problem solved. Where am I? Oh, I can't get up okay uh hmm pick up journal oh oh my I'm yeah I'm pretty oh I didn't get to read the whole thing no bucket is getting older Julie comments that it's kind of nice because he gets into less trouble around the house a week later she goes back to the university See, things are looking up. Bucket's not shitting everywhere. Julia's going back to college. Nineteen eighty seven. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh boy. That doesn't sound good. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. I mean, if you're not in the mood, you're not in the mood. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh boy. Nineteen eighty-eight. You spend your days following Julia around the house. 
You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. Sexy Daniel. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Uh, decide to move her into a full-time care facility. Determined to take care of her by yourself. I mean, I'm not really qualified. I don't think. I mean, I don't know. But... Uh, let's move her into 24-hour care. Ugh, where am I? I appear to be in some sort of forest. I, I, like, I can't help but just stop and admire this game sometimes. It is, it's so beautiful. I really like this super saturated, stylized uh, environment. Like, look at that. What is that? <gasps> Hi, friend. Oh, all right. Fuck you, then. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your fucking balls off. And it doesn't say fucking, I added the fucking. Because they probably said fucking. You slowly decide not to see your friends as much. Nineteen eighty nine. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. And you go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. Months go by, Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Oh, that sucks. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock on to you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Professional bear? You take it. And that's the story about how our hero Henry became a bear. Thank you all for watching. I'm I'm just kidding. Let's go. Let's uh let's get into this. Ugh. This this is already creepy. The fact that I got here at night is incredibly unsettling. Enter the lookout tower. I sure as shit will. I want to get uh, get poked in the butt by Mr. Slenderman. I don't know that I'd be able to do this. I mean. Respect to the people who do take jobs like this, because I, I'm thinking you're probably out there for like weeks at a time, maybe months in some cases, I don't know. I don't even know how common this job actually is anymore. I know this is supposed to be in like the 80s at this point, but oh look, I have an outhouse, I have a little shitter with a generator next to it, interesting. It's an electric shitter. All right, turn on the power. Yeah. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh God, that caught me off guard. Hmm. 
All right. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Not yet, lady. I'm looking around. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Alexa, power down. Also, how can you tell all of my windows are boarded up? Oh, you're not. Hello, no, you're, Two Forks. Come back. I'm, Pick up your radio. No, I'm a ghost. I'm not really here. I'm just going to ignore you. The singular mind. Jesus. Oh God, what is that? Glory. Right. Oop. Okay. Well, everything's too blurry to to read on the back there. I guess I have to talk to you. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy Hey there, said. Delilah. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? What? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. Oh. I forgot subtitles hide interface uh, no you take a stab at what's wrong with me there we go fine then can I what, sleep forever sure buddy okay now go ahead oh we're on a timer uh uh nobody back home can stand you why won't it hello Trying to select it, but it won't select. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Okay. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Um. Is that it? Close. Good night. I mean. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Day one. Oh, I brought my typewriter with me. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me at my desk. Uh... Anyway. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. Oh. You got I relaxing. was hitting a like fourteen hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what six? Six forty five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Nope. Nope. I definitely don't see it. Don't know what you're talking about. Can't imagine what it might be. It's right in the middle of your room. No, there's nothing here. Delilah. Are you crazy? Or just stupid? Also, who can't miss it. I I I'm telling you, there's nothing here. There's definitely not a map table. I'll wait. You I mean you're gonna be waiting for quite a long time. Also, who is this? They're quite the I handsome fellow. All day. Just radio me when you find God. it. Damn it, lady. Okay, yeah, I see it. So now you're ready to work. I'm new. Wanted to look around. Honestly, on my first day, I did the same thing. So anyway, this is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. 
Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! I mean- uh, Language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, west. West, west. Are those fucking fireworks? West. West. That is west. Those are fireworks. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Um. Write the you ticket. You that? Really not into discipline. Let's kick the shit out of them. Kick the shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll I'm gonna feed your room to get down the everyone a knuckle sandwich. Lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Wow. Wow. Secure. Shut up. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. Let's go beat the shit out of some rowdy hillbillies. Actually, if I remember to correctly, it's like two teenage girls. I'm just gonna like, yeah. Uh, sure. That is a map and a compass. What a combo, Jonesy Lake. Yo, there's a lake named after Jonesy. All right, there was definitely a button that allowed me to. That's no, nope. Ah, there we go. Also, I'm just walking, so I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Run, Henry. Run, Bear Man. Whoa. Oh, no, I thought that was a, a different way to go. Uh, oh, okay. Here's the lockbox. Supply cache. Whatever. Uh. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth on the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. All the good stuff? Yo. Is there some good good in here? Just make a note of that. Whatever that was. Old rope. Yep, that's rope. A granola bar. Cherry and almonds. Yum yum. How many calories? Uh, there are R calories in this bar. That's. That's like all the calories you need in a day. I mean, I don't know how big I am, but I assume the proper amount of calories for a single day is our calories. Uh, uh. Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park to get... But let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Yo. Cool, man. I should probably close this, huh? Uh, gotta get used to the buttons. Uh, da. This way? How do I... I have forgotten. That's a compass. There we go. Map. 
Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm going the right way. Attach rope to hook. Yes, please. That looks like the most secure knot I've ever seen. That actually doesn't look that bad. But what do I know? I'm not a climber. Alright, Henry. Dude, how tall am I? Nope. I have the st oh. No, 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 oh. No! oh. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. And that's how Henry, the Victoria's Secret model bear man, died. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. No, I am invincible. I will be careful for Chris' sake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Anything good? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Red Eagle, you brood in Wyoming. Ah, uh, how do I beer? Clean up? No, that's that's not. Uh, that's not the Henry. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the main. Exactly. Exactly, Henry. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Can I pick them up? Please let me pick them up and, like, set them on fire. No? Alright. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Gonna take this. Gonna take this. What is that? The screaming wife. Okay. <laughs> Magic missile, sure, and I I don't know what that is. Dre steel sounds hot. Stomp out, nah, man. I need fire to do my job. I can't watch fire if there's no fire. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Yo, can I look, take they're this obviously shit? obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I mean, those pants and those flannel shirts probably wouldn't fit me, but... It'd be kind of funny. Well, shit. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Okay. Good. Right. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Alright. Well. God damn it. There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. I 
found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy. Uh. Enjoy dealing with that. Oh, I can pick this up. Full stereo! Oh, hey! Put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. Oh, how do I answer that? You there, Henry? Uh, it is done. Hey. Oh, there you are. It went fine. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. That's that is not the choice I chose. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Yeah, I hope they die. Or consumption or <laughs> consumption? Consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I don't know if this is a real place. It's very diverse. Go from like woods to canyon in a matter of feet. It's interesting. It's still very good looking. Not a knock on the game. I, uh, I really like the art style. Yeah, Henry. You use those knees. Okay. Let me go. I am a physical so specimen. I have oh. a bit of a confession to make. Oh God. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Wait. I thought you had a confession to make. Uh, okay. Well, I guess with that lack of a confession, it's probably a good time to end this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching, especially if you watched all the way to the end here. I know that beginning half was quite the grind to get through, but this is where the game really opens up, and I'm looking forward to getting through that. So, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.